life, the continuous cycles we find ourselves in, subject to ties of birth and rebirth, able to survive and thrive, to recreate, to redirect, to rethink and re-evaluate life. Let's celebrate the achievements that every heart ache and pain gives us, the silent joy that exists when your heart is broken open, the challenges that increases our capacity to grow so that we are no longer slaves to the seasons or caught in the flow, searching for reasons or a way to go. Find your own rhythm, harness your own wisdom. Huh. Harness your own wisdom. Release yourself from that voice that keeps you on the paved path Too afraid to follow your own stars So that you can deviate from the pack And be that lone voice in the white noise of opinions The melody And the harmony Opposing the frequency of conformity What if we had immunity from compliance And were no longer slaves to our self-importance? Who would we be beyond skin color, hair texture, the need to fight, struggle, and be subservient to schools of thought and social systems that don't serve us or our needs? Beyond the need to show them that you are better than their expectations, who would we be if we could alter this frequency and possibly be happy? And possibly be happy. Maybe that is what life is striving to teach us, that there's an innate truth that lives within us, that there's a longing that exists beyond the veil that separates us, a kinship born of a singular need. But then lies the beauty, then lies the joy, the peace we pray for, the heaven we seek, the golden thread that binds us to one another beyond the perception of separation, beyond our intellect and the need to be right and stand vindicated in our collective hate. What if we could possibly be happy? Within all of us is a need to be happy. Let's set that happiness free so that it can illuminate our lives, so that we can rise and be shed of all our aversions and shine in the light of a new day because what we are is living and what we play is life.